Sort the shapes into two groups. Use colored pencils or crayons to color each group a different color. How did you sort the shapes? How are the shapes in both of your groups alike? What are you asked to do? Sort the shapes into two groups. Explain how they are sorted and tell how the shapes in both groups are alike. What tools can you use to help you? A roller, the square corner of a piece of paper. What type of polygons are you looking at on this page? They're triangles. Do they all look the same? Not necessarily, but what is the same about them? They all have three sides. So we can sort shapes by their attributes. When I look at these shapes, I see there are some triangles that have a right angle in them. So I'm going to color all of the triangles that have a right angle in them because they look a bit different from the other triangles. So there are three with a right angle and then the rest have other kinds of angles. Is there another way you might be able to sort these triangles? Yes. I see that there are several triangles that have equal sides. Letter B, triangle I, and triangle G. That is another way you could sort the triangles. Ethan made two groups of polygons. How are the groups different? How are they alike? When you classify groups of shapes, you identify the attributes of each and then compare them with other shapes. These are rhombuses. Remember, rhombuses have four equal sides. These are trapezoids. They each have only one set of equal, I'm sorry, of parallel lines. Here are some ways the two groups are different. Each polygon has sides that are all the same length in group one. In group two, each polygon has sides that are not all the same length. In group one, each polygon has two pairs of parallel lines. In group two, each polygon has only one set of parallel lines. Here are some ways that they are alike. In both groups, they all have four sides. In both groups, they all have four angles. And in both groups, they are all polygons and are all quadrilaterals. Draw a quadrilateral that does not belong to either group one or two. Explain why it does not belong to either group. I will draw this polygon. This shape does not have a pair of parallel lines. It also is not a trapezoid and the sides are not equal. Nellie drew a group of rectangles and a group of trapezoids. How are her groups different? Remember, rectangles have four right angles and trapezoids do not. How are rectangles and trapezoids alike? They all, or both, have four sides. What larger group of polygons do all of Nellie's shapes belong to? All of her shapes are quadrilaterals. They are all quadrilaterals because they all have four sides. 
Draw a shape that belongs to Ethan's group one. Another shape that would belong is any kind of parallelogram. Draw a shape that belongs to Ethan's group two. And why is there a square in group one? The square is there because all sides are equal. Rhombuses have four equal length sides. 